What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a new kind of video. I'm going to be playing through uh, kind of a short puzzle game called The Looker. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to expect from this, I just know that it is a good game because I have heard good things about it. So I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, basically it's a puzzle game where you have to connect the start to the end or whatever. So I've got like this pen and then I can do like, wee. Okay, there we go. So this is this is gonna be the whole video, so I hope you enjoy. I don't know what what why I wanted to do this, but this felt like it would be a fun thing to record. And if you guys enjoy me playing through like puzzle games like this, then make sure that you uh, tell me in the comments below because I certainly enjoy these sorts of games. Uh, I I think I, I've never really said this uh, like in public, but. Uh, I think I am a very good puzzle solver, so we're gonna see how I how I handle this. Okay, so it seems to be blacked out screens that we will get to eventually, but uh, I think we have to start here. So there's a maze. Uh, I I think I could just go around, but I'm gonna do it properly because you know we ah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Okay, just straight up here. Let's go. Uh, follow the red trail, the, the wire. Ah! Okay, it goes up here. Okay. Okay, we... we... <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, so apparently we can't, we can't jump. Okay. Good to know. Uh, so is there any other puzzles we can do? There's a chess board over here. I love chess. That's like something that I love to do in my free time. I know you guys don't know a lot about me, so there you go. That's something that I like to do. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, okay, so we've got a rook here, so we could check. Could check, but we need, we need this, we need this, uh, knight to go here on this white so that the king can't move here on this black uh <laughs> oh there's another rook over here yeah okay perfect so i can just i mean i'm not i'm not solving right now wait surely it's uh surely it's checkmate oh no it's not because the, there's a queen here yeah so yeah so we can take out the queen sorry yeah i'm i'm talking too much about chess this is not the game <laughs> Uh, I'm sure that's a puzzle we'll have to solve later, honestly. Uh, hello. Hint. Go on, get... Don't look at me. Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. Interesting. Oops. All right, all right. I'll tell you my story. Yeah? Tom. Back when you got a good one. Uh... I'll tell you this, when life hauls off and hits me square in the speaker, I don't get mad and I don't give up. Over many nights of thinking hard and drinking hard, up till the morning lighting one cup of joe with the smoldering butt of the last slug of rum, this is what I learned. When you're up against the impossible and there's no getting through it, you might just have to go around it. Get a look at the back of the box, if you get me. Read the nutrition facts, even you follow. All right, thank you for thank you for telling me. These are very easy. Uh, start. Oops, God. Uh, start end. Start end. Okay, it's. I think it's. It's like teaching us the fundamentals. I guess there's a cool thing here. What is this? Kublai Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo, in Madrid, city of lost things. No item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home. And even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table. A fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head, and when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Indeed, 
The only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. <laughs> I love how you can just draw over this one. Fort. Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. My mouse sensitivity is like very high right now, so this is very difficult to to do, but luckily we don't have to do it all in like one straight line. Okay, so we can't go there. Wait, is this impossible? Is this one impossible? Because we've got lines coming down over here. Uh, can't go through there, so yeah, this is impossible. This is not a possible maze. So you, so you, do you have to go around? Can I even go around? Yeah, I have to go around. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! I love that. Okay. Well, this, this just isn't possible either, right? We can't go over. Uh, what's this? <laughs> uh, I, there has to be something. Hmm. I am stuck. Um. What can I do? Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, yeah, you have to look at the environment and stuff. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> okay, this one we have to do uh, in, in here. So I like to work from the end, actually, because usually they are like kind of single paths. It, it's kind of easier to work from the end to the start. I actually don't know if that's a thing or not, because technically it's just the same as starting from the start, right? But there you go. See, okay, the th the reason why that was easier is because at the start you have one, two, you, okay, look, you have one, two, three, four different paths you can go down. In here you have like one, two, three, four, you have a, a lot of different paths you can go down, whereas at the end it was literally just one straight road, right? So it's easier to start from the end than uh, start from the start. I love problems. <laughs> I love puzzles. I, I do puzzles in my free time. They're so good. Okay, so there's no end. <laughs> there is no end. Um. Oh. Am I getting closer? You're right there. I mean, beep. Beep. <laughs> Come on, beep. beep. Is it not? Okay. Beep. Beep. Is it around here? Beep. Beep. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so good at this. I'm so good. Okay. It's going to get a lot harder, I'm sure. Okay, so start to end. Nice and easy one for me. Okay. I haven't talked about how nice this game looks. It's it's very very nice, and this is completely free, by the way. Like you can go download it right now and play for yourself. Um, okay, so that goes into there. So it looks like we're gonna need one more. So let's go see. Yeah, that's the chess. I don't know. Do we need to? Do I need to solve this? Because I think because if I was gonna do a move right now, it would be. Um, it would be knight to, uh, what's this, c, c frickin, uh, c6, <laughs> knight to c6, uh, yeah, I don't know, what is this, oh, I see, I see, s to e, baby, s to e, oh, is that not it, uh, oh, S to E. <laughs> yes. I love that. S to E. Whoa, hello. You're scary. Uh, oh. Oh, hi there. 
This is this isn't creepy at all. Whoa, what the Okay, now we now we're using blood. Oh hello. Uh Oh I see. I see what we have to do. So the blood drips down so we can go over the black lines. So we can just go like this. Ensure that that's connected. Okay, yeah, that's all connected. And then we can just go to the end. Behind you. The night, the, the thing is gone. The armor. Wait, the door's closed. No! Okay. Hello there. Why do I have a gun? <laughs> Why do I have a gun? I did not think this was going to be a horror game. I'm super scared, man. This is scary stuff. Oh, wait. Was that open before? I don't think it was. I think I think it opened up. Oh my god. Haha. <laughs> Booya. 360 no scope. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there you go. 360. Uh that a map. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to solve a puzzle. That's one way to do it. Okay. Very cool. So now we're like in the in the castle. This is cool. Whoa, this is really pretty. I want to live here. Okay. There's a there's a door. Don't know what's going on there. Paints. Okay. Start to end. That's very original. Huh? It just needs more red, I think. More, oh, more, okay. More red. No, try putting some more loops on it. Oh, loop, okay. Wee. It simply must have more loops. <laughs> Weep. Weep. That's pretty. This isn't the MoMA. We can afford more loops. We can afford more loops. Okay, how many freaking loops do you want? One, two, three, four, five. I like it, but it's also kind of... Two red? red? Are you kidding me? How many... Okay, how much red do you want? Just tell me. Can I use a different color? Oh. Uh... Okay. So you want loops. You don't want two loops. You want more loops? So you, let's do three loops and see. Could you, um... Draw less. Draw less. Okay. Let's go. You just need to do three loops, but not too much. Okay. Cool. Very cool. I like these puzzles a lot. Hello. Imagine gravity is fractal. Yes. Because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. Uh, so imagine there's a big piece of We don't know if gravity is just a wave. Gravity, like a prism. Could be a particle so as well. Like blue gravity and yellow gravity <laughs> and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity. And it makes them super heavy, right. so they have super strength, yeah. but like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to okay. zap everybody. And just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be Ultraviolet Girl. Yeah. And she has super speed, so she beats him. And it, like, <sighs> also gave her giant cans. I don't think this is Thomas Pinchon, how it works. Gravity's rainbow. Gravity's rainbow. Oh, that's great. That's brilliant. That is not how gravity works, ladies and gentlemen. That is propaganda. Okay. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. Right. He put his trust in Providence and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. 
And he got his insurance money. These guys speak too much. I want to do the puzzles. And told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation right. rather than right. the of makes, makes sense. a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence <laughs> was misplaced. For these were the self-same charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on. And Big Ship is always trying to get one over on the little guy. Yeah. Further, we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright <laughs> is Richard Dawkins. The crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles Neo are neoplatonism. And the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. <laughs> okay, I get, I, I get you. About? I get you. Uh... Um, I am noticing this chest set is very similar to this, so it looks like we, we are going to have to solve it. So, uh, I do think that night to... Well, that's the only thing we can do. Night to C6. Um, and then... And then... Yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, I get you, I get you. So... We can do this, so the knight will protect the rook, uh, and then we can do this. And that is checkmate! I see, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool! Fantastic! What did that do for us? <laughs> What did that do for us? Uh, what's this? Are we gonna be able to play chess? Can I? Can I? You can only get good at chess if you love Bobby Fischer. Yeah. Grandmaster Bobby Fischer. Aww. So sweet. I hate chess. <laughs> I hate chess. World champion Bobby Fischer. <laughs> Uh fair enough, fair enough. We haven't listened to this one. Let's listen to this. Let's hope it's not it doesn't go too long. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. True. The master cannot see the bishop on E three as a chunk of dead wood, any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colours and shapes. Wow. The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. International Master Stuart Rachels, The Reviled Art. Honestly, that is a good life lesson. Oh, this is cool. This is sick. I know what we gotta do. We gotta take out the ships. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, wait. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is gonna be difficult because I have such a sensitive mouse. Uh... Kapow! Haha! <laughs> oh, I like this. This is great. Okay. Kapow. I wonder if there's lore in this game. Probably not. <laughs> okay, and then. This one. Chitting. And then there's one right over there. That's very far away. Wait, I can just like scribble everything. There we go. <laughs> I got it eventually. Look at that aim right there. <laughs> Sensitive mouse much? Okay. So I've done that, right? Oh, this opened up. Okay. So now we've got some steps to go down. There's a door. Oh wow. This is cool. Okay, so let's do this first. So this is just a simple uh a door. Oh, this takes us back. Okay, cool. Very cool. Uh we got some air hockey, we've got snack. There's an S and an E I'm noticing. Okay. Right, I'm assuming this is going to happen a lot, so... 
we're going to need to be very careful about how we use the mouse. So let's just do the most simple routes. Oops. Okay. Let's just take the way that a snake would take. Okay. Go up here. Down. I feel like I've really messed up. How is this? Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to take like this. To, like, go along. I'm being really careful not to touch any other squares that are irrelevant. Okay. I think we've already messed this up. I think, possibly. Just don't touch any of the squares on the left. And you'll be fine, Ozone. Okay. Oh boy, okay. This is gonna get very crowded already. Oh no, how long does this go on for? I hope it doesn't go on for long. There's an E there. Oh no, we're gonna be trapped in there. Please, please be the last one. Please? Please? Oh! First try. First try. I was so smart about that. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh, yes. See, it's it's intelligence that wins, not uh, not being fast. I don't, I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I think it's it's quality over quantity. That's what I'm trying to say, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay. What's in here? Whoa, this is cool. Gaming, uh, okay, <laughs> start. Uh, there's an, is there an S? Yeah, there's an S there. What? Hello? Do the, do something. Did you, oops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, you did not open the door. What did you do? Okay. Well. Oh god. Oh no. This is gonna be really difficult with my sensitive mouse. Okay. Pew pew. I'm so good at games. I'm amazing. Let's go. Frickin' pew. Pew. Oops. Okay. This is the highest score you can possibly have. I'm doing so well. Don't get any trickier, please. Are you freaking kidding me? How am I supposed to do this? How? How? Okay, let's just... <laughs> there is no way I'm going to be able to do this. I'm I'm trying my hardest. I'm... T <laughs> we only got one of them. We only got one. Okay. Okay, dude. Uh... I've turned my sensitivity down, but it's not going to help. I am genuinely just so trash at this. That's the, that's the thing, I'm, I'm good at being precise. Okay, I didn't even need to do it that well. I'm good at being precise, but really bad at doing it fast. So uh, maybe it is quantity over quality. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're back here, we're back here. So can I open this? Yes, I think I can. See, uh, I can I can do nice lines. I can't do fast lines. Okay, what is going on here? Okay. Um, there seems to be a hedge maze over here, which I'm not looking forward to. What is this doing? Is it going to hit the this? I'm just waiting for it to go pew. Okay, dude. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I get you. What is this? Oh, there we go. Oh, no, you're, you're not. You're not there yet. Up a bit. 
Up, up, up. It'd be cool if we had to aim it. That'd be cool. Go up. Oh, no, not too high. <laughs> too, I don't even know how you're doing that, mate. That is, that's impressive. That's, that's very impressive. Uh, a, a down. Come, come this way. Down. Okay, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. No, that's that's too high. That's too high. How are you even doing that? What? What is going on? Ah! Ah! <laughs> uh. Okay. I don't know how that works, but. Oh, is that a mirror? Okay, I guess. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so. Cool. Yeah. Um, nice bench. Another door with the same puzzle. Okay. So, oh, we're back here. Okay, th now there was an area that I didn't actually explore before, which was up here, so let's go. Okay. Oh, this is powered by that, so it looks like we couldn't really come up here anyway. So, what on earth is this? What... I feel like I feel like I've missed something. Do we have to go through all of them? Or do we have to go through them in an order? Okay, we did that wrong. I see. Um hello telescope. Ah oh. oh Oh god ah. Oh. Why did I do that? Oh. I'm so sorry, protagonist. I am super sorry. This is cool. The sun and the earth and the moon. The moon is like, not even... The moon's supposed to be like, here, not there. But, okay. And the sun, that the distance between the earth and the sun, that is definitely not a thing. Oops, I keep pressing escape to come up. Okay, so... Um, it looks like we're gonna have to... I don't know, find a code or something? Let's see if we can do that while we listen to this. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical, so that we can have a single reality whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. This brings us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical event, or feels like one. You, a unique individual, have a particular request which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched, because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. I found it! Deepak Chopra. Let's a go! Spiritual Mystery. Does God Listen to Prayers? Part 2. Okay. Wait, that's really cool actually, because the king was knocked over, obviously, because we freaking won, and that's how you forfeit or whatever. Uh, and then it was on the bottom. That's that's a really cool puzzle actually. I like that. And I like how you have to go back down there to to actually do all of this. That's cool. So I think this is how we progress. I think in the hedge maze maybe we'll we'll find like some like we'll understand how to do the symbol puzzles. There is a <laughs> okay. We did all of that for a kids puzzle. Tic-tac-toe. Okay, wait. So the, there's chicken nuggets. Corn? Corn dogs. Corn dogs. A wrap. I cannot read most of it. Are we going to have to connect every S with every E? Or can I just do start to end? Okay, well I'll just do start to end then. Pune. Oh my gosh, my, my mouse. Okay, half of this isn't connected. I understand. So we're just kind of, ah, oh, frick it, just do this. Connect, please. Connect. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love how you can just cheese it like that. Okay. Looks like there's a doorway that we have to. I'm so bad with the drawing. I need to get like a a drawing pad rather than just using a mouse. Even a touchpad would probably work better than this. Alright. 
Yeah, let's go. Okay, now we have a freaking maze we have to do. Is there a secret here? Is there a secret? Don't think so. All right. Um, just checking like the surroundings and stuff. This is really like pretty. Look at this. So pretty. Is this the secret? Nope, it's not. Okay, it's just a little beach. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like it. All right. Uh, there's an S and there's an E, so but I don't know where to go. An S goes down here. Nope, it goes through here. Uh, down, around. No, it doesn't. How do I solve this one? Uh, there's an S here. <laughs> S. Oh, I found it. I've found where it goes. It goes up here. It goes around. It goes down. And then around here. Wheel. Let's go. So good. Okay. I wonder if I could do a speed run of this. Oh, probably not because I'm so bad at using the mouse. Okay, so we're just going to hog the left walls uh, for now and then see where that takes us. Okay. Hog the left. Okay, it can't really be down here anyway because, yeah. This is a big maze. I am scared. We are now the red line. Okay. Okay, I'm really bad at mazes. I just never know where I am. I did see like a, a house over here though. Okay, nope, it's blocked off. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna get back to the start, aren't I? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Now I need someone to talk to me. Like I need, I need one of the, the audio tapes. All right, so that, <laughs> that was not helpful. Okay, let's just kind of, I don't know, because we never went down here because oh no, we we did, didn't we? Ah, oh, I hate mazes. They are the worst puzzles. Li they are literally, I hate them. Maybe we're supposed to... Wait, we didn't go down here, I don't think. Maybe we are supposed to go, like, atop the castle again and look down on the maze and solve it from there. And then we can memorize it and, and do that. I'm unsure. Okay, I, I feel like we're on the right track. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So, what's going on here? It's books. Big knight guy. Okay, angel. Alright, so we have to go up here. Okay, restart. Can I... S to E? Oh. Wait, what's going on? Ah! I just bumped my arm against the thing. That's going to affect how I draw. <laughs> I'm just putting excuses on things now. Uh, so, shield. Okay. Oh, God. We're going to have to remember all of this, aren't we? Shield, two diamonds. We don't know which one comes first. Okay. Is it the moon first? I would say it's probably the moon. Then the hourglass. Okay. Uh... I mean spade let's, let's call this one the spade and then this one the star how are we going to learn the order off of this is it just the order that it that it's come up in the book where am I disconnected there we go uh, okay so this one was late I think but we don't really know for sure 
I mean, let's let's just try circle, arrow, hourglass. Oh, okay. Circle, hour, circle, arrow, hourglass. So, will this one be triangle, arrow, hourglass? I'm so good. <laughs> So, okay, I, I kind of know the order, so it has to be circle, circle, moon, circle, moon, arrow, circle, moon, arrow, circle, moon, arrow, shield, hourglass. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to remember all of this. Circle, moon, arrow, uh... Circle moon arrow shield hourglass. Wait, wait. There's two shields. Okay, we're gonna call that one poor. No, we're gonna. No, yeah, we're gonna call that one poor. I don't know. It's not. It doesn't look like a poor. And then we've got the the pear. And then we've got. Uh, I'll just remember that that one exists because that's the last one. We don't need to actually remember. So okay, so we got circle, um, circle moon arrow, circle moon arrow, shield hourglass. Poor, double, triple. Yeah, okay. I think I've got that. All right, so now I assume this is where we go back to the, uh, the, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna have to make our way, oh, we're gonna have to make our way back to the beginning. Okay, oh wait, now I know where it is. It's this way. Is it? No, no, it's the other way, it's the other way. <laughs> it's this way. Okay, I think I've got it all in my head. So, oh no, they're not, they're not even all here. So, okay. So we have circle, moon, arrow. I didn't even see this one. Oh no, wait, that's hourglass. So circle, moon, arrow. I didn't even see a spade in the last one. There was no spade. Right? Or was that one of the paws or whatever? I can't freaking remember. Wait, no, that looks that look okay, so when I was saying poor before, I thought it was like an upside down this. I thought it was that symbol but upside down. But now I see that it's a spade. Okay, so that's a lot later. Um that one becomes comes before that one. So it's moon arrow that one that one that one, that one. That is ridiculous. How am I supposed to do that? All right, let's let's try it. So start goes to moon, goes to arrow, and then we're gonna have to go to paw. So I think oh, we don't want to block ourselves off though. I think the best route is this way. Ah, uh, this is going to be an issue. I see this one is very tough actually. Okay. So we're going to have to kind of creep our way against this wall here. Uh-oh, I think I just fri I think I just messed it up. Hourglass. If I touch, then it's over. It's freaking over. Let's let's admit it. Okay, so we have to go a different way. So let's be smart about this. So we don't want to block off. The thing is about this is usually you would start from the outside and then work your way in, but our first one is in the middle. So we're already going to cut off a lot of the roots. So let's think about this properly. We're going to have to... Okay, I know what to do. I think... Let's go through here. Nope, that's not very smart. That's not very smart. Let's... Go 
down here. No, that either way that Okay, this is smart. This is smart. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go down here. And this this is going to seem counterintuitive, I know, but hopefully hopefully it's going to be uh good. So we're going to want to go through here. Okay. Get the moon. Come down here. Through here. Get the arrow. Right. And then... Wait, it was poor first, wasn't it? This is ridiculous! How is this possible? I see how it's possible. I see. We're gonna have to be very careful with our lines. Alright. I think... Oh, no. Hmm. I don't know if this is good or not. So we're gonna come through here. And we have to come back around. Okay. Got it. Okay, and then... Oh my gosh, and then it's the spade. And then it's the triple. I better have gotten this order right, otherwise I am going to not enjoy the rest of this game. Okay, let's go. Yes! <laughs> I'm so good. I don't know how I did that. Oh, my memory. My memory is suffering now. Okay. I love puzzle games, man. This is so cool. Alright, so what do we have? Oh, S. S and E. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is so cool. So from this perspective, we have to get the S to the E. So I'm assuming we can't touch the black floor. So it would come down here. Across this bridge. Across that bridge. Onto this fountain, onto the white. Across onto here. Not touching that. Boom. Oh, this is so creative, man. Look at this design. Go across our white king. Down the shield. Down here. Can't go across the... Oh, wait. Across here. Very cool. I like this puzzle design a lot. It goes down here. Yep. Across these barrels. Yes. And then across the wall, right? Let's go! Let's go! The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's backwards, right? Okay. Wait. Wait. Wait, it, it looks a bit sus. Oh, wait, it's a giant cat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This was all just a, a sus joke. Uh, Bradley Lavelle. This is, this is a brilliant game. There were so many amazingly creative puzzles in this. This is amazing. I believe there is like a prequel, but it's a lot longer. I could do it, but I think it costs money. Wow. Wow. I'm so impressed by this game. It was really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, let me know if you've solved, if you've solved any of the puzzles uh, before me. I really enjoy this, and um, as, as I said before, uh, if you would like to see me play any more games, like puzzle games or any kind of other games that are apart from FNAF, I could play FNAF if you guys wanted me to. Do you want, do you want me to play FNAF? I could play FNAF. Either way, if you want me to play any other games, let me know in the comments below, because this was quite a new experience for me, playing something completely different to what I usually do on the channel, but I really enjoyed it. So uh, let me know if you enjoyed it as well. And uh, I could play more, more games in the future.
Johnny suck. Oh. It was the coma, okay. Whoever did this is gonna be some kind of whiz with a computer. <laughs> oh my god. Good stack of penny. I would never hurt you. <laughs> Oh, this is so well. This is I got an achievement. This is so well made. This is so funny. Big maze book. Okay. Oh, the chess pieces are in the same position as the uh, the thing. There's a banana on the floor. Okay. Oh, and and the game shot. <laughs> Alright, this is this was great. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.